if you are looking for a product and you don't want to pay for expensive third-party tools, there is a free tool in Seller Central that gives us pretty much same information that any third-party tool can give us. And the data is coming directly from Amazon so we can trust that the data is accurate where third-party tools use estimates. So in this video, I'm going to show you where to find that tool and how you can use that tool to find new products. If you are new to this channel, my name is Adnan and I've been selling on Amazon for the last four years and I've sold over 300,000 pounds just in the last 12 months. So let's go to the screen and I'll show you exactly how to find that tool and how to use it. So to access the tool, all you've got to do is log into your Seller Central and go into the menu and go in Growth tab. And in Growth tab, you need to go in Market Product Guidance. When you go in Market Product Guidance, go on Category Insight and I'll have a look what Amazon has given us. Uh, you can see all the popular markets. So you can see United States is the most popular market Amazon has. You've got Germany and then United Kingdom. So because I'm in the UK, I'm going to select UK. And then now Amazon will sort this data by the most popular category. Uh, so home and kitchen is the most popular, then clothes, clothing and shoes, electronics, health and personal, grocery. And then if you see in the most popular product type is kitchen and then home, outdoor living, and then the most type keyword is home kitchen and then if you go down you can see the units sold so you can see how many units sold in the last 12 months you can see their sales over the last 12 months you can change that to 90 day to 30 day or in seven days if you're looking for a new data and if you go down you can look at the search performance which is basically the search well which is the search volume and you can also look at the click counts and you can also see the Amazon showing us the most popular keywords in that niche. And then the glance views. Glance views is pretty much, we call it impressions. So you can see the impressions, uh, this keyword, this niche is getting. And then you can see search to purchase ratio is 15.38%. Basically what that means is out of 115 people have bought so this is quite a high search to purchase ratio compared to other categories and then we can also look at return ratio this is one of the data that i've not seen in even many expensive paid tools and the return ratio is in this category is five percent which is quite an average uh, to compare to the normal other categories amazon has uh, and then you can also look at the reasons for the return so if you are developing the product, this data is going to be very important for you that you can see why people are returning this product. Uh, you can see other brand new sellers, number of ASINs, uh, number of new ASINs coming into the market. And you can see that how most of the products are four plus rating. And then you could also look at advertising spend within that niche. And you can see how most of the products in this niche are under 10 pound. Um, and then also you have option to save the idea. So let's look at another category. So let's see, let's look at um, clothing. And then in clothing, you can see the most popular item in the clothing category is shoes. And then the shoes is men classic fashion sneakers. And if you go down, you can see the data that the units sold are pretty consistent throughout the year and the search volume is also pretty consistent and these are the top 10 most popular keywords in that niche and the main thing to look here is the return ratio is quite high compared to the normal other categories so this is something that you can use to decide if this is the category you would like to go in or you want to skip and then we can also see the reasons like it's too small too large and then also when you go down you can see the price most of the the shoes are in between 30 to 40 pound and the most popular color is black the most popular size is nine and then the most popular shoe material is synthetic I don't think you can find this information in any other tool. You'll probably have to spend hours and hours to find this information where Amazon has given that to you and within a couple of clicks and all for free. If this is the idea you like it, all you've got to do is click on here and then what Amazon will do is it will save your idea. So here you can make a list of all the ideas and then you can go and take it further to the next step where you look more into it and then maybe you look at other sellers that what are they doing and read the reviews and then take their idea to the next level i think this is a great 
place to start looking for a new product. And then if you look here, you can also look at top grossing. So this is Amazon's going to show you the top 10 products over the last 12 months and then their performance. And you can also look at newly launched. I think this is quite amazing where you can see the new products being launched over the last six months and then you can see how they are performing and then you can see what they've done differently and that they are doing so well and then you can get some ideas for your product and then you can also apply it to your product and get good sales even you are using third party tool i would highly advise you to still use this tool and compare the data and then make a decision so go and spend some time see what other categories are there see what other products are doing and look at newly launched product and see what they are doing differently that you can use to also launch good products. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are new to Amazon and if you are confused where to start and how to start Amazon, I have created a full guide from how to set up your business all the way to how to launch your first product. You can go and watch that video here. It's better than any course. I have not missed any part. Everything is step by step in that video. So go and watch that video and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.